Hey guys, it's Will with Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Just a quick pickups video. I only have one thing here. I did the uh, Barnes & Noble Criterion Collection 50% off sale, and I picked up a touch of Zen, King Ho, it's Blu-ray, and this is unopened. So uh, I think it, it'll be fun to, we're gonna um, do like an over the shoulder shot here in a second and flip myself around. And then we can open this and take a look at the liner notes and it'll be as new to me as it is to you. Uh, I've seen their edition of um, Dragon Inn, but I have not seen the Criterion edition of uh, A Touch of Zen. So I'm very excited to dig into this. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we have the Blu-ray edition uh, from Criterion Collection of A Touch of Zen, which is a film by King Who, as it helpfully says right here. This is spine number 825 by Criterion. This film was released in 1971, and this was part of uh, a handful of like hugely influential martial arts wuxia films that King Who made, starting in, I think, 1966 with Come Drink With Me, and then there was Dragon Inn, which came out when 68, 67, don't quote me on this, I don't know the exact years. And then uh, this came out in 1971. Like I said, this film was three hours long, but these films were hugely influential to the point that like, you could argue that you probably wouldn't have a film like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon were it not for this film. So let's bust this open here because I haven't seen the inside of it and we'll see what's what. And actually, interestingly enough, King Hu is from Taiwan and Ang Lee, as you may or may not know, was Taiwanese. Uh, and then I uh, had never actually been to mainland China until he made Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, or so I've heard. Don't, again, I don't know if that's 100% true, but I remember reading that at some point. So here we got the plastic wrap off, front cover, and here's our back cover. And if, uh, a, a, a interesting fact for you, if you're a Tarantino fan, Dragon Inn, which came out before this film, was if you watch it and then watch Hateful Eight, you can see it was a very big influence on that. So that's a fun little side-by-side -side comparison to make. So like I said, it's a long movie, 180 minutes. And let's see what we have. So here is the disc. Nice. And it looks like we got some serious, Ooh, okay. As you can see here, this is just red, <laughs> or whatever you want to call that color, peach, salmon. So I'm just gonna close that so that we can have a peek at this, holy mother, this is like a poster. I don't even know if you can see that because we've got a pretty tight shot here, but we've got this massive kind of poster where you have one of the characters looking like kind of a famous Buddha pose, uh, which ties into the title, right? Touches in, and then we have this broken city escape kind of thing. And then I'm assuming there's an essay maybe on the other side. Um, I saw Dra when Dragon in when Criterion was like, putting together their, I guess their, uh, what do you call it? Remaster of Dragon Inn. It was shown in some theaters and I was able to see that and they gave out postcards which had the similar artwork on it for that film. And then on the back, there was some information about the film and it, the, the layout design looks very similar to this. Yeah, so as you can see here, Prowling, Scheming, Flying, A Touch of Zen by David Boardwell. So that's an essay. And then we have some notes on the film by the filmmaker, it looks like. And then it's just kind of the information here in the center. And let me try to remember how this folded. Dun, 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 dun. And there you have it. So uh, this is from the Barnes & Noble sale, like I said earlier. You know, they do that 50% off thing. I think it's every November. Um, Touch of Zen, King Who, Criterion Collection.